Welcome back to Sefton Motors. We have a quick engine update for you. I'm here with my friend Vinquet. Hey everyone. Hi Vinquet. And today in our update, what we want to do is just show you some of the simple operating principles behind the Melvin engine. Once again, the Melvin engine is a heat engine used to generate electricity from any type of heat. To do that, we make a firebox. And this is our firebox that we're gonna show you today. The firebox is a simple device that's used to bring heat to the outside of the engine. Once the engine sees that outside external heat, it will start running. This firebox is made for both a propane interface and also a wood burning interface. And what you can see here is this is the input for the propane. And it's just simple coming off a propane bottle. It's naturally aspirated and with a temperature sensor if for some reason the flame should blow out. On this side of the firebox is a wood input. This is where you'd have your wood fire to heat the engine to generate electricity from burning wood. And you can see it's a very simple device. It's on wheels. It just slides right over the top of the engine. And let me go ahead and show you what the flame looks like for the propane when that when that is uh, when that is on. And I'll just use a little blowtorch here to get it started. And you can adjust the the intensity of the heat to a certain extent, high flame or low flame. But you can see it's much like a, a grill, a propane grill that you might have for cooking your steaks. A little thermometer up here that tells you the temperature that the engine is seeing. And that's really the firebox, very simple device. You would want to put the flue to an external, vent the flue to an external, external air outside of your dwelling. We just have this here for testing. And uh, that's really about it. All right, we're back at Sefton Motors, and we just took you through the firebox and how the firebox works and how it's designed. Now we just want to show you how the engine starts up and runs. We basically have a firebox here that we took you through before. Right now the firebox is showing about 680 or so. Um, we do have a, a hose input for the water jacket here, and we also have a pressure probe here. Those won't be on the engine when it ships, but we use them for testing the engine prior to it shipping. Make sure we're getting the right pressure, right speed, at the right temperature. <clears throat> All right, so once the engine's up to heat, and it's up to heat here, I'm going to come around to the back, and I'm just going to grab the flywheels, and I'm just going to rotate them forward. And it'll start right up like that. See, at first it'll be quite fast as it equalizes the temperatures. I close the cup rod. Now, if this engine is not mounted to the floor, typically its final installation will be mounted or something to that effect. And that's how she starts. One other thing I wanted to show you is just the hub motor we use for generating the electricity. It's connected to the flywheel via a timing belt and then it has a cord coming out to the outside of the engine to a um, bridge rectifier that takes the AC coming off the hub motor and turns it into DC that we give for the handoff. So this is a commodity item, these hub motors. They're used in electric bikes. The thing we like at it, it'll, it'll operate, generate voltage at a relatively low RPMs, goes 12 volts, 24 volts, 48 volts. You, you can do anything you want, just as, depends on how you spin it. And the nice thing is it has hall sensors, so we can also use this in the remote start operation of the engine in addition to generating the electricity. Okay, let me bring you back to the office here, close things out on this update. We're going to continue to focus on how to use the engine, how to hook it up to your 
your battery bank or to an inverter directly or hook it into your power into your uh house or or dwelling so that'll be coming up and we'll be focusing more on that and less on the actual technology the engine in our uh, next update but we do have a couple of teasers to leave you with on this update one is we just started offering an engine kit which has us providing the more difficult to manufacture parts of the engine the machine parts the piston to cylinder fit, things of that sort, and allowing you to create or fabricate the uh, parts, the straight up steel parts that have to be cut and welded and rolled. But it brings the price down to about a thousand bucks. Um, and um, that's, a, I think, going to be a good offering for a lot of folks who are interested in actually fabricating the, uh, the Melvin engine. The second teaser we have is we're very close to testing out this particular device. Which, if you don't recognize it, this is a pump That'll be placed in the engine, and so it'll be a self-generating -gener pressure for the engine. Gotten some comments back on the pressurization cycle of the engine, and, and this would be a, could be a pretty dramatic improvement on that and a dramatic improvement on the power output of the engine. So stay tuned. Thanks for your support, and we look uh, forward to hearing from you, your comments, questions, whatever it might be. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks again. Bye-bye. <laughs>